One time when I was uh, training a new guy on our team, I was uh, giving him a lot of grief. I thought I trained him pretty well and to be clean. And he, I was talking to him across the way. I'm like, you gotta be clean. I, want, I don't want to see this primer everywhere. And um, so I lined him out on a task. And then um, I was over there watching him and he was gonna glue like something like this. You know, this is a $70 piece of, you know, plumbing equipment. And instead of gluing the inside, he put purple primer all over the outside <laughs> and he was doing it. And then I saw him realize it and he saw like, oh, look what I just did. And he looked up and I was staring at him and it was, it was just really funny. He just turned totally red. The names will be silent to protect the innocent. <laughs> I won't tell you. I'll tell you later. But it was funny. <laughs> okay, so hold that in. Yeah, I just try and be clean on the plumbing. And this piece doesn't have to be perfect because I have this ability to undo this union and I can turn it all the way I want. So I just, I just want it to be clean and, and held tight and not be jumping out. Okay, before I make my tie-in this way, I'm actually gonna head this way first. So if I wanna maneuver my pump this way an inch or two or that way an inch or two, I still have the flexibility to do that. Um, as, I, as I come out of the top of the pump, I, do, I am gonna use a fast 90. Um, this is a street 90. This one's gonna glue right in. Uh, it's simply because my, my inlet to my filter is down pretty low. So I wanna get to it as fast as possible. But I am gonna install a check valve here. We talked about the check valve earlier. Uh, in a perfect world, I, I like my check valves in a vertical orientation. So you know that flapper is going like this, the water presses the flapper in the down mode. Uh, but sometimes we're forced to go horizontal. And that's okay, but you wanna make sure, actually the check valve, uh, the check valves we use, it says this side up. So if you do it in a horizontal fashion, you wanna make sure the check valve is hanging down if it's upside down, then the check valve is loose like that and wants to hang open. So in this one, we're gonna go ahead and get this installed like so. So that's why our check valve is in this horizontal approach. And then uh, the T is gonna go on, or that the three-way valve is a T. It's a, I can control the flow to either way. This one's gonna shoot out towards the waterfall and this one is gonna head towards the, the, uh, this filtration system here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start to glue this guy together. Okay, essentially the, the pond pump has been installed and ready to go. I wanna give you one tip. Uh, when you're gluing your check valve assembly together, a lot of times it's, it's easy to glue and prime like so, push your fittings together and hold it together. But I want you to be careful about the glue dripping down through the unit and uh, gluing that flap together. So as you're doing the, the gluing and priming, do it sideways and make sure that you don't have any the glue in, uh, drip down in there and, and clog it up. So. Um, I wanna point out that we have the three different unions. I have a union on either side of the priming pot, and then I have a union on top of the pump. So if you ever need to take this thing apart to service or do any maintenance, I don't want you to worry about cutting any pipes because you can break away a couple unions, pull out the leaf trap, break away a couple unions, pull out the pump, and do your maintenance and so forth. So now I'm gonna move on to installing the, the biological particulate trap. <laughs> 